It is hard to pick one highlight from this week's action-packed episode of Attack on Titan, but many fans feel that Historia Reese stole the show. Warning. Spoilers for Attack on Titan lie ahead. Historia Reese came face to face with her own destiny this week, as her father finally finished explaining the basis of the family's powers. In a familiar supervillain-esque format, he unveiled the secrets of Titan shifting, memory erasure and Frida Reese, all while Eren sat chained to the floor and Historia stood dumbfounded, unsure of what to believe. After years of living without a father or a connection to her ancestry, Historia listened patiently to Rod Reese's story. For last several episodes, it has almost seemed as though she were falling under his spell. Still, this week, when the time came to act, she showed that her true loyalties still lie with the Survey Corps. At the climactic moment, she pointed out a fatal flaw in Reese's tale. Father, why? she asked. Why didn't the Reese family, in that whole 100 years, eliminate the Titans and liberate humanity? All while possessing the power to control all the Titans because, the first Reese king who built this world within the walls wished for us to be controlled by the Titans, Reese said simply. The first king believed that was the only path to true peace. After a bit more monologue, Reese revealed his true belief about the family's ability, that the holder of the founding titan ability was God. That was all Historia needed to hear to make her decision. God my ass, she cried. You're just giving yourself an out and manipulating other people. I've had it. I won't let you kill me, Historia then freed Eren, despite his protests. Shut up, crybaby, she said. Exterminate the Titans. Who the hell wants to do that bullshit? I'm starting to hate humanity. Let him get wiped out by the Titans. I'm humanity's biggest enemy. Got it. I'm the worst girl who ever lived, Historia instructed Eren to get out of the chapel while she destroyed it. The sudden fury was a 180-degree shift for her character, especially after her wide-eyed, curious demeanor in the last several episodes. On Reddit, fans went wild for the sequence, hoping for more of the worst girl who ever lived in future episodes. She called him a crybaby. It's about time someone did, one person noted. Zero comments, dude this is my most favorite AO episode ever, added another. The fight sequences, the music, the Historia heel turn. I'm straight up in awe, I don't know what to say, Attack on Titan airs every Monday on Tokyo TV, with simulcasts on Hulu, Crunchyroll and Anime Lab in North America. New episodes are typically available every Monday at 2pm Eastern Time.